Lakers. I'm Mrs. Zerd. I'm a media specialist. Hi, Lakers. I'm Mrs. Greffelman. I'm your media support, and we're your media staff. All right, Lakers, the first thing you do when you come into the media center, whether you need iPad help or you need to, to check out a book or anything else, you always make sure to, to sign in on the iPad um, where it says sign in here. All you have to do is put your first and last name in and put where you're coming from and what you're doing here. Once you're done signing in, if you need some help searching for books, if Mrs. Graffelman and Mrs. Zern are busy, we have tools for you. And one of the tools is the search station. So you can search by author or you can search by title. The bookshelves in our media center typically have books displayed. And many kids ask, can I check this book out? That's what they're there for. They're there so that you can, you know, your eye catches them and you can see what you might like. Some other tools we have for you are at the end of the bookshelf. As you can see, we have books by genre. So if you like fantasy or sci-fi, you can look at the book list. We also have peer book reviews. So these are reviews written by other students at the school. And then we also have a book of series titles. So if you're in the middle of Football Genius, maybe you're on number four and you need number five, this will tell you what the next book is. If you see books in red, those are books that we don't have or have been discarded or lost. If you have an interest in reading the Star Tribune, we have a table dedicated to the Star Tribune. If you are looking for fiction books, fiction um, runs by alphabetical order by author's last name and they start right here. And then they go to this little bookshelf up here and down to the end. Many of you like graphic novels. We have four shelves dedicated to graphic novels so you can find them easily. There are several of you that like to read nonfiction. And remember, these are books that are true, current uh, events, people, places, and things. Um, those start right next to the graphic novels and they go um, all the way down past this table to that little shelf and over to the other side. Um, we have books displayed over here that are typically nonfiction, and those are there for you to check out as well. Many students, when they come in, want to sit at the high top table. This right here is the SWAT desk. That is for um, kids that help with technology. They have to fill out applications, and it's a special privilege to be on that team. So this is their area. So if you come in and want to work, there's some high top tables in the media center for you that you can sit at. The other thing is if you are a 7th or 8th grader with an iPad or another personal device, this is our charging station. So when you come in, uh, you can ask us how it works. It's just like a safe. You put in your own code and charge away. If you happen to like magazines, this is part of what you can check out. So you grab the issue that you want and bring it up to the front and we'll put it in a safe envelope with a barcode on it for you to check out. Many students come into the Media Center to print out or work on papers or research. And what you need to do when you come in is you sign in at the sign in iPad, and then you come over and sit in the very front row. The first row is reserved for students that come in that need to use those. Just a reminder, we have a printer in the back of the Media Center behind the two computer labs, and that is where you're, you will get your printing. There's a recycling bin next to it, and there's also student supplies. So if you need a pencil sharpener or to borrow some supplies, go ahead and do that from the back table. Some of you might have forgotten how many books you can check out and for how long. You can check out three materials, so magazines or books, for three weeks. Remember that when you come up that you check out with Mrs. Graffelman. Um, you'll say her last name and then she'll check out your books to you and you'll get a date due slip that will tell you when the book is due. Students, just so you know, um, my office is always open for you. Mrs. Graffelman is here every day. I'm here on day one and I'm across the street on day two at Hidden Oaks. And Miss Faye is our tech integrationist and she is here every other day that I'm not here. So we are here for usernames, passwords, iPad help. We're here for book recommendations. And really, any question you need, we'll try to help you find the answer for. Our door is always open. I just wanted to say thanks for listening to our orientation for today.